Um, I want to welcome you all to yet another beautiful session of Extra Speed Live, hosted by my humble self, Sheriff Dara Mola. I shall be taking you on a trading journey in the next um, one hour where we shall be using technical parameters to identify um, trading opportunities lining up for us during the New York session today. And another thing that we need to take into consideration is the fact that we are on the last day of the trading week. Thank God it's Friday and definitely we want to be making sure that we don't jump into unnecessary trades today so what we want to be doing today is to be looking at what we've deliberated on so far we had um about six to seven pairs we've been monitoring since monday and we want to see how well they are in fact they all did well i on wednesday we had good profitable trades on tuesday as well and yesterday too we had some trading opportunities that we were able to take advantage so we're going to be looking at these pairs we're going to be looking at these opportunities and we are going to be saying if we still have any potential opportunity lining up for us during the new york session today and if we don't i will be advising us to pass that trade so without further ado let's dive into the charts and let's see what is happening at this point in time so the first pair we are going to be looking forward to at this point is the u.s coin as usual and what do we have here if you remember vividly what our discussion was on this pair yesterday, we I told you how we should be, uh, first of all, we should have taken our profit. Remember, we were able to take some profit. We started the trade right from the above, right above the $89 level. I think on Wednesday, is it Wednesday or Tuesday, we started this trade and it took us all the way right into the bearish trend line. We were able to identify on the higher time frame. And we were able to take about 500 pips for this week on the US oil, which is quite okay and considerably um, good to, for the weekend. Right now, I may mention something yesterday where I told you price is right around the, uh, the bearish trend line we were able to identify on the higher time frame. So you might be asking, where is that bearish trend line? Let's go to the higher time frame and let's see what I'm talking about so that we can all be on the same page okay look at what has been happening since um the mid months of june we were seeing um consistent lower highs and we were able to connect the series of lower highs together to give us that uniform bearish trend line that has been respected by price action over um, a couple of months now and right now price is right at this level we are right within that bearish trend line. So you all know what our expectations are when price action is around a bearish or bullish trend line. So once, whenever we see price action around a trend line, what do we want to be doing? We want to be, hold on a second, please. I. So what we want to be doing is to be patient enough to look at how price is going to relate with this level at this point so one thing there are two scenarios that could be happening from this point we could be having a breakout of that structure which could give us a signal that we want to be going bullish that is price is no longer respecting that bear, that bearish trend line where a retest of structure should give us further confirmation to um get ready for a bullish momentum that's the first scenario that could be happening right around this bearish trend line and the other scenario is that we could be having a reversal pattern around this area it could come in form of a double top structure a head and shoulder pattern whatever that is we want to be looking for a reversal pattern a breakout of structure on lower time frame with confirmations to join the decline to the downside so if we're going to be having a reversal pattern right under the bearish trend line definitely we want to be seeing that area as a level where participants in markets are respecting um the trend line so now that we have this perspective here on the higher time frame we need to scale down to a lower time frame to actually see what is going on and if there is any opportunity 
lining up for us today and if there is none then we call it a week and we look at how our price action is going to play out today then we determine what we're going to be doing next week but let's scale down to the one hour time frame and let's see what is happening and i want us to put this into put this in the back of our mind remember that we are already profitable on the u.s oil and we don't want to jump in unnecessary trades at this point as we don't want to lose what we had made so far this week so now on the higher time frame what do we have here obviously we are right above the key level at 93 dollar mark and one thing for sure that is uh that we identify on the higher time frame is this consolidation phase around that bearish trend line so like i said on the higher time frame are we going to be seeing a reversal pattern or are we going to be seeing a breakout retest of structure for a bullish momentum so now if we look at what has been happening since the beginning of the week we saw this impulsive move to the upside and as soon as price got into that structure that is the bearish trend line here we begin to see a consolidation phase and one thing i have noticed here is this as soon as price tested the 95 dollar level we can see how price tested that level during the later part of um, the new york session yesterday then we saw a move to the downside to around the $94 level and then price came back up again one more time but didn't go as far as the $95 which it tested during yesterday's trading session. So what did we see here? We saw a rejection at that point and now we are not sure if this is going to turn out to be a reversal pattern in the form of a double top structure then if we are going to be having a double top structure here then definitely we want to be seeing a breakout of that neckline so what we want to be doing right now is to identify our neckline and that's what we'll be doing by bringing our our line chart at this juncture then we connect where price action met here so i think it's around the 93 hold on let's see how that is 93 70 i guess uh yeah i think that's where price actually that's, that's our neckline i think for this reversal pattern if hold on so we want to be given this a purple color to differentiate it from our key level so we have a neckline right around should we label it okay let's give it a label 93 dollars 70 neckline at at $93.70 was it is that okay so let's place it right at the top uh, left hand side of our screen so that it wouldn't um, so we have something like this I like to give this text a purple color so that um, it's aligned with the color of the neckline so we have we have a neckline right at the $93.70 and if we look left we can see that that same neckline has a structure to relate with in the past we can see how this level in the past this is the 93 dollar level in the past we can see how that level has been a major determinant of price action as thereby giving us a clue into the strength of that level so now that we have identified a neckline here so like i said we have a hold on sorry about that uh, so like i said here we have a structure that wants to evolve that looks like evolving into a reversal pattern in the form of a double top structure and remember our double top structure is not yet confirmed if we don't see a breakdown of the neckline so what we are looking forward to is this we saw the first test of the 95 dollar level price came back into the 93 dollar 70 cent area did a little consolidation around that area before we saw that bullish move to the upside but one thing that we saw here is that price did not go as far as the $95 level as we had a rejection at $94.80 and price is still moving at this point. So we want to be patient enough to look forward to a breakdown of that neckline and that will give us a confirmation that we price is about to respect that bearish trend line we identified on the higher time frame one more time. And then if this breakdown happens, remember, we are not getting too excited at the sight of a signal we want to wait for price action to give us that confirmation which is likely going to come in form of a retest of structure and the retest of structure could be the retest of the neckline or probably the bearish trend line where we want to be looking forward to a reversal pattern on lower time frame to join the decline to the downside
so it's quite um, a long process probably you might be thinking but that is how we can make money from the market we have to be patient enough to wait for price action to come to us to come to our bus stop so that we can join the bus to whatever direction price action is moving so in this kind of in this scenario we have here now we have seen a possible um, bearish momentum coming in at this point but we need to wait for signals and confirmation before we can actually join um, that bearish momentum here so now that's that's um, the first scenario we're looking forward to that's the bearish momentum we are looking forward to then the other scenario is this what if is it possible that we could be having a bullish momentum from this point is it very, is it possible that's the question we want to be asking ourselves and the reason why we want to be asking ourselves this question is simply because we want to um, we want to expose ourselves to different scenarios so that when the new york session comes in we are not going to be caught in a dilemma of not knowing what to do so if we are already exposed to all the possible scenarios that could come in then definitely we are going to be well equipped and prepared to take advantage of that momentum when it finally happens so now the other scenario that we could be looking forward to is this if we are going to be buying the us oil what we want to be looking forward to is a significant breakout of the structure we want to see a significant breakout of the structure and that is definitely going to come in form of an engulfing bullish candle so we want to see candle close right right above that level that is taking out all selling positions from that point taking all doubts away and confirming that we are on a bullish trend and if that is going to be happening remember we are not getting too excited at the sight of a signal we want to wait for price action to come back and do a retest of structure after which we go the retest of structure could be back into the neckline it could be back into the bearish trend line that we identified on the higher time frame where we want to be looking forward to reverse our patterns on lower time frame to join the rally to the upside so um the retest will come into the bearish trend line it could come into the key level at 93 dollar level but one important thing we want to be looking out for is a reversal pattern on lower time frame so that we can catch that bullish move so these are the scenarios we want to be looking forward to so on this one i was able to explain to you how we could take possible um bearish and bullish momentum if that is what market is going to give us for um the later part of this week so i want to be deleting all those ones as we don't need them at this point anymore i guess okay i think we're still going to need that so let's delete this one so that is what we have here so what i'll be doing in the next 10 to 15 seconds is to read through the chat to see if there are any questions if you have any questions regarding what i have just discussed so far on the us oil feel free to drop a word or two in the comment section and if you think that um, you need further clarification probably you need um i don't know you might need a question you might want to clarify some things just drop in a word or two in the comment section and i will be willing to be of help so what do we have here okay alpha 29 is saying we'll surely break that resistance well we don't know we don't know uh, one thing we are, one thing we want to have in mind is this we don't know what is going to happen in the market that's the only way we can make money that's when your mind is open to any possibilities but once you have a fixed mindset that this is what's going to happen you might miss that opportunity when it finally comes so keep an open mind we don't know if it's going to break out of the resistance we don't know if it's going to respect the resistant level one thing for sure we want to be doing is to have an open mind to see price action align with our structure so that we can take advantage of any momentum here so alpha 29 thanks for your com for your comment all right um 294 hi 271 hello good morning okay um i'm of the opinion that we all understand what i've just explained here and in the absence of no question i assume we just move on to the next pair i guess 